Okay, in this section, we are going to be looking at a differential equation and making some inferences from it just based on the structure of the slope itself. So if you're looking at this and you're saying, I do not want to draw a slope field with 49 points, please don't, please don't. So this is there for reference. If we need it, we might need it, we might not. So let's just jump in. The slope is not defined. What makes a slope undefined? So I'm gonna make a few little notes with a blue pen. That means the denominator is equal to zero, okay? So if the denominator is equal to zero, that means that y plus two equals zero, which means y equals negative two. So anytime we have a y value of negative two, we're gonna have an undefined slope, okay? So well, there is one slight exception to that. Um, is there a slight exception to that? Yes, there is a slight exception to that. Um, and we're gonna just go with it, but, but here's what it is. At negative two for the y value and zero for the x value, we would have zero over zero, and that would be a little beyond not defined. That would be indeterminate, okay? Not gonna play that game, not gonna worry about that, but basically if we, if we had if we graphed the slope at zero, negative two, we'd have zero over zero, so we couldn't graph the slope there, okay? That's, again, beyond not defined, that's indeterminate. Anyway, I want the slope to be negative. Well, what makes a slope negative? A slope is negative if, well, this whole thing ends up being negative. Well, it looks like it's already negative, which means the negative of this, that means that this, whole fraction, not the negative, has to be positive, and therefore, the entire slope would be negative, okay? So let's just kind of put that into words. The entire slope would be negative if, here goes, writing in red, if x and the denominator have the same signs. We could write all these points out, do the whole thing, take forever, we're not, but we would realize that when x and y plus two have the same sign, we'll have a negative slope. What makes it positive? Okay, think again. We have a fraction, and we want this fraction to, to be negative in order to make the negative negative positive, Therefore, x and y plus two would have different signs. Okay, what makes the slope positive? The whole thing would have to be positive, so the negative means that'd be a negative as well, making the whole thing positive, which means these would have to be different signs, numerator and denominator. Okay, well, if we want our slope to be zero, then, well, how do you turn a fraction into zero? You set the numerator equal to zero. So x would have to be zero.